All right, so today's building video is gonna be a little bit shorter than usual, and by a little bit, I mean quite a bit, because today we are building a kitty coaster, a Sierra Forest Coaster, or as the Germans would say, Sierra Forest Coaster. That's that's my German uh, pron pronunciation of it. Uh, I reckon, I reckon it's pretty good. Uh, but the reason I'm building a kitty coaster today is because. It's always about all the big thrill rides, you know? That's what you see on YouTube when you see coaster. You rarely ever see like family rides. It's always about the big thrill coasters because those are the ones that are impressive to look at. Those are the ones with interesting elements. And I thought, you know what? We're gonna bring a bit of diversity in here. And I also just wanted to make something with this model. So, you know what? We're gonna make a kitty coaster, a custom kitty coaster. Uh, usually these Sierra Force models are, are uh, cloned models. Most of them there are a, f are a few custom, like four or five, um, something like that. I've ridden one of the custom ones and then I've ridden, uh, I believe, three clones. Yeah, I've, ri I've ridden the, uh, the Force Zero model, the Force One model and the Force Two model. And then a custom one that is almost identical to the Zero model. Um, but I just thought it would be pretty interesting to make a kiddie coaster for once instead of, you know, one of the big thrill rides. Uh, and just to see what I can make of it. So, uh, obviously this video is very short because the coaster took a very short time to make. In fact, building the entire coaster and smoothing it all took 20 minutes. That's how long I spent on making the coaster itself. Um, and this video is five times the speed of uh, the recording. So uh, because it took such a short time, I'm also spending a little time making some water and coloring the ride and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this coaster model is actually kind of weird in a way because it it, it does this weird thing with, with the banging that it, I, I don't think it's hard lined. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that this model is not hardlined. It doesn't feel hardlined when you ride it. It doesn't look hardlined. It looks like it's just normal, good old banking, like on an aero or a wooden coaster uh, from PTC or I, uh, well, maybe not PTC, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, it, it's kind of odd. Um, but I mean, I reckon it's it's kind of interesting as well. It also underbanks a lot of times where it just doesn't bank enough and and a lot of, actually something I've always noticed is on a lot of kitty coasters no matter what kind of kitty coaster it is you often get pushed out uh, to the side of the vehicle there are often laterals there and it's either it can often be hang time or it can be the other way around where you're getting pushed to the side and um, so that's that's kind of a funny thing I've been thinking about kitty coasters actually are very nor like normally give laterals almost all of them I feel which is kind of funny I guess that's like the way that uh, manufacturers make them more interesting to ride uh, just so the kids aren't bored either I mean uh, that depends on how old the kid is some kids just want to like go fast and you know fast in quotation marks uh, because then they're like yay speed and and, and others uh, who are a little older might want a little more than that, like airtime or something, without them realizing it's airtime they want, but they're like, if I could fly out of my seat, this ride would be more awesome, or something like that. And then there are the little cocksuckers who um, are starting to get uh, all smartass and shit and be like, the thing needs to go upside down, and, and, and they're the ones who don't like the kitty coasters. And then there are, there are people like me who do like kitty coasters, um, uh, you know, if they're made right, like I actually quite enjoy uh, Zero Force coasters. Some of them a little more than others, like uh, the uh, Jungle Rally in Jersomland. Not such a big fan of that one. It's uh, rattly, it's uncomfortable, and it has a little airtime hill that doesn't give any airtime. Uh, th those are like that one standards is below what it should be, which is kind of weird. Like it's worse. Than it should be as a small kitty coaster, and uh, especially because I've ridden Camelon at my home park, uh, Tivoli Gardens, which is an almost exact clone. It is a custom one, so it's not a, a zero model. Uh, it's a custom one, uh, but only because it's two meters longer and it has longer trains and eight car trains instead of uh, six car trains. 
and then basically um it's smoother it's more enjoyable it's prettier and and it gives air time it actually gives a little bit of floater which is which is pretty fucking nice so uh so that's the kind of like how i mean the difference between some of them rides there uh, <laughs> some co kitty coasters are good some are n not as good uh again it, it just depends on the ride really uh, it's the same with thrill coasters you expect a thrill coaster and and so you want it to be thrilling like the mode at Tivoli Gardens is less thrilling than you would like and wow we're already getting to the end of the video that that is how quick this was um, so, so yeah um, fast video this one because it is a small coaster I'm not making all of the scenery I'm just making a bit of water because I'm gonna theme this to the Loch Ness but anyways guys it's been Northern Rides uh, and I hope you all keep on writing.